Hey guys, this is Not Another Game Critic coming at you to give you guys a review of a mobile game again. Hey, of Sonic 4 Episode 2 THD Edition. Um, yeah, what can I go ahead and say about this? Uh, it's been a really long time since I've played a Sonic game in a while, and um, I, you know, it was one of those things I never truly try or you know love Sonic that much, especially from my childhood days. Uh, only reason because uh, I really sucked at playing Sonic, especially back in the Genesis or Mega Drive days for everyone that was outside of the states. But so yeah, the reason why I have this game was it actually came with the Nvidia Shield, so. I was like, well, what the hell, might as well play it since I, you know, got it with, uh, you know, my, uh, little handheld here, so. I uh, went ahead and played through it. Really enjoyed playing this game a lot. It really brought back a lot of, uh, nostalgia, again, uh, from my childhood, because, you know, I did play this, but I was mostly, um, you know, it's whoever one of my friends had a Genesis at the time, so. I was a, um, you know, Nintendo kid growing up, but, uh. Yeah, so, you know, it was one of those things of, like, you know, playing the game over again. It's very, has, you know, has so many similarities to the uh, original Sonic, just the feel of it. And actually improving on some of the mechanics, uh, definitely. With, um, you know, actual having a jump attack that targets stuff now, finally. And uh, you can do a little bit more stuff with uh, combination stuff with Tails, other than him just lifting you up and stuff but uh yeah so the game runs extremely smooth it looks really gorgeous on um you know on the anything that's running like nvidia uh three you know or the yeah the nvidia tegra three processor or higher um and uh, you know I, it's definitely probably on the uh ios uh, i'm a little too lazy to double check right now but you know, if it's on Android, it's probably on Apple. And, and yeah, I didn't get a chance to really test it out on a, um, you know, an actual tablet yet. Or, because I have to go ahead and repurchase it. It's kind of dumb. Uh, when I went ahead and got the, uh, the shield, it didn't go ahead and, you know, save the app like I went ahead and had it, um, you know, attached to my account so I could go ahead and put it on, like, a different device later down the line. Which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, that was on, uh, you know, that's on NVIDIA's side there for having the app in there. I, you know, I probably could go ahead and do something where I could just back it up or whatnot and then try to transfer it over to another device that way manually. But, you know, slight inconveniences of stuff. But, nonetheless, uh, you know, it, it goes ahead plays really well, like I said, um, especially, you know, if you decide to use a controller, like a Bluetooth controller, game is fabulous to play. Uh, you know, barely any frame rate issues at all, and, uh, and yeah, the, um, the game is, you know, with one playthrough, it's probably over, like, an hour and 15 to an hour and a half of, uh, you know, playtime. It, it could last longer if you want to go ahead and get the, like, special ending, which is uh, getting all the Chaos Emeralds, but I don't feel like trying to... I've been trying to do that stuff for a little while, and that's really what adds up the time, because if you go ahead and unlock the Emerald stage by playing a certain stage that you haven't unlocked it in, so you're... You know, that, that will take up a lot of time if you really want to go ahead and try to... Um, you know, get that ending with probably turning into supersonic, but but alas, I am, a, you know there's only so much of that I could go ahead and do <laughs> before I'm like, you know, it, it is what it is. So yeah, I really want to go ahead and pick up definitely want to pick up the uh, first um, episode of Sonic 4 and, uh, you know, go from there, but yeah, it's been a uh, a fun, you know, blast from the past. I definitely like that uh, Team Sonic or, you know, whoever from Sega decided to go ahead and uh, bring it back to a side-scroller. Uh, 
it was one of those things. I played a few of the Dreamcast versions of it and whatever, you know, I didn't really play any of the past, you know, the Dreamcast, so I didn't like uh, going that route too much with the behind the, you know, third person camera uh, style gameplay with it, but, you know, that's just me. But yeah, so definitely go ahead and pick up this game. Play it if you already have it. Uh, it's definitely been out for a while, so I'm just slow. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, guys, and hopefully you enjoy the review. Peace.